What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 times badass Roman Reigns was caught hilariously breaking character in WWE, man. This should be a good video. We recently just saw Sami Zayn breaking the whole bloodline, had everyone breaking character and laughing. Uh, that was a pretty cool moment, man. So it's always good to be able to get Roman Reigns to crack or anybody to crack live on television. Now I have some unfortunate news. I did check a video uh right before this one um a video I, I forgot the name of it i believe it was uh the most savage moments from the shield or whatnot some of the savage moments from the shield and the problem with this whole situation is the i was recording it on obs but the visual of the screen recording wasn't up the entire time so i literally did a reaction 10 minute reaction you could hear the video you couldn't see the video so yeah I, I had that lined up for you guys but i'm sorry um y'all know how i am if i've already reacted to it i don't want to re-record it and fake the reaction so uh yeah <laughs> i'm so sorry about that man if though anyone asked me about that uh the best savage moments from um from uh from the shield uh i'm sorry uh, i I messed up there. I made a oopsies, man. But we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and sort. Let me pull up the screen. Oh, there we go. You guys can see that. You guys can see that. Let's get right into this one, man. Roman Reigns has been WWE's top guy for a number of years now. And in that time, Reigns has been reserved in breaking character. This has particularly been the case during Reigns' acclaimed run as a heel as Reigns' character is serious and legitimate tries to keep this intact whenever possible. Mm -hmm. However, from time to time, the head of the table has no choice but to completely break character in hilarious yep. fashion. Join us now as we look at 10 times Roman Reigns hilariously broke character in WWE. Hey, it's it's always cool to see when a wrestler just breaks character because something hilarious just happened. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive leads. Also check out WrestleAmia.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. Number 10. The Microphone Catch Other feud between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar has included several lackluster matches, but their yeah. final encounter was without a question their very best. This would be a last so fun, standing bro. match showdown and took place at the 2022 Summer Such a event. fun match. Everything about the match was presented perfectly and Reigns amazingly broke character before the match had even begun. As Lesnar was giving himself an introduction on the top of a tractor, oh, yeah, this was Lesnar a cool little moment. At Reigns and Reigns, Whoop. in a non scripted moment, caught the microphone in the most casual manner possible. Reigns would discuss the mic catch during his appearance on Logan Paul's podcast, and this is what the head of the table had to say Boys got hands. I play baseball. I'm right handed, caught with my left. He threw it right to my hand, but I catch good with my hand because of baseball. He threw it right there. I gave him a little wink. If I drop it, then I'm just the bad guy who dropped it, and I'm just not cool in that moment. I'm just staying on him, hoping that they're not shooting that. Number nine, Logan Damn, bro, that is cr I, When he caught it, I was like, yo, that was actually the kind of player, bro. He caught that shit like it was... Like, he didn't even do this. It was just... I'm about to whoop your ass. That was that was player, bro. That was pretty player. Now, speaking of Roman Reigns' appearance on Logan Paul's podcast, this interview, for the most part, was a completely out of character interview, and Reigns got to show off his humor and wit. It was universally well received by fans, and it made fans realize just why Reigns is so beloved by his peers. Hilariously, during the podcast, Reigns would completely break character to honestly discuss how Vince McMahon previously gave him awful promo material to work with. <laughs> Reigns added, I mean, I've just had some crappy promos that, you know, you get in early and you don't have any equity. I just want to say something right now. I ain't saying it. You know what I mean? But 10 years ago, Vince is like, you're saying this and it's highlighted. And then you're going to say it. And then it's some crazy stuff which still follows. Like the suffering sucker tash. I don't even remember. I just remember suffering sucker tash. Oh, man. It was like literally eight years ago and it would still be brought up. I mean, I've delivered some really good work over the past few years. And they'll still be like suffering sucker tash. <laughs> so it's just one of those deals. Bro, you can... Uh, obviously, he didn't write that shit. And that sucks because he had to say it. Dude, they didn't give him no freedom. He had to say the shit. Go out there and say suffering sucker tash. Who the... I will never forget that. That was that's when it was like, all right. There's no, there's no, it's it's over him for him, bro. 
the the hardcore fans are not gonna give two f's, bro, because this is you could tell it was being forced and it it wasn't genuine. Number eight, laughing at the big show. In 2015, Roman Reigns had yet to be acknowledged by fans for his in-ring work, but some of his matches, particularly on pay-per-view, were excellent. Take, for instance, his last man standing match with the Big Show at Extreme Rules. There was hardly any excitement going into the match, but the two delivered an entertaining showdown that stole the show. The match even featured Reigns breaking character as he couldn't contain his laughter. As the Big Show was perched on the turnbuckle, Reigns would charge into him, forcing the Big Show to slip and land groin first on the turnbuckle. In an exaggerated moment, a Big Show started to scream. <laughs> Reigns then started laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> it was a great moment that didn't thankfully negate from the seriousness of the last man standing match. Number 7 wishes a young fan happy birthday. Hmm. The WWE house shows are places where WWE talent can relax with their characters, and you'll often find heels breaking character to oh, yeah, doing the house shows, fans. Yeah. Following a live event in Canada, Reigns had just successfully defended his undisputed WWE Universal title and he was walking to the back. And as he was walking to the back, a fan was shouting over Reigns, informing him that it was his son's birthday. Without any hesitation, Reigns broke character and went over to the young fan, shook his hand and wished him happy birthday. That's awesome, this will bro. This no doubt be a moment that the young fan will never forget. He will never fucking forget that, bro. This is why the house shows, they, they, they're more personal. You know, saying the wrestlers are able to kind of get away with that because they're not primarily featured on television. Like back in the day, uh, it was rare that you seen, you know, footage from house shows. Now you see it all the time, obviously, because people have phones and social media so they can just post the stuff. But back then it was like going to a house show was a treat because you got to see things that you wouldn't see on television. It was certainly an appropriate time for WWE's top guy to break character. Number six, part time schedule announcement. At just one month after becoming the undisputed WWE Universal Champion at WrestleMania 38, Roman Reigns broke character at a WWE Live event to reveal to fans that he'd be taking a part-time schedule moving forward. Following a match with Drew McIntyre in New Jersey, Reigns cut a promo where he declared, I've been here many times. I've been here probably a couple of times in the past 10 years. I'm starting to work into a new phase in my career and I honestly don't know if I'll ever be back here again. If that's the case, oh, I yeah, just I want to say this. thank you for all these years of support. I it remember shocked that. fans, as nobody knew that Reigns was about to become a part-time talent in WWE. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, it was appreciated that Reigns was honest and open with the fans about his schedule, and breaking character was the way to announce it. Number 5. Reigns Claps Back During Roman Reigns' early days as a single star in WWE, the fans had a ton of resentment towards him. Did well, not like him. Part, they Reigns didn't. Was able to ignore the crowd and I wasn't the biggest fan of his character. Booing him. However, in 2016, right Reigns here, snapped yep. on the crowd in an unscripted, out of character promo. Which was good. This took place during a promo segment between Reigns and the then WWE champion Dean Ambrose, as Reigns in this promo would state, For all the dudes chanting that I can't wrestle, calm down, relax, take a sip of your beer, and shut your mouth. That's what we wanted, this bro. This is the Reigns that fans wanted to see, and this will be the Reigns that will be presented years later on WWE mm -hmm. TV. Following his 2020 heel turn. You can tell that wasn't scripted because it just happened. So he kind of improvised and I'm like, bro, that's what we want. I'm I'm sure probably Vince didn't like that because they, they wanted him to be a face. But it's like, no, this is him. This is really him. We want to see that. We can connect with someone that we feel is genuine. We can't connect with someone that we don't feel is, you know what I'm saying, is truly themselves. We can tell when it's it's being manufactured. Number four, Kevin Owens makes Reigns break. A Kevin Owens is well known for being <laughs> one of the funniest wrestlers in WWE. And during a live event match between Owens and Roman Reigns back in 2016, Owens made Reigns break out in laughter during their match. Owens would have Reigns in a chin lock and Owens would begin yeah. to trash talk the crowd. I remember this He then began to brag about how much money he was making and this was enough for Reigns to completely lose it. Reigns was laughing so much that he was forced to cover his face with his hands, <laughs> which is downright hilarious. <laughs> oh, man, you're supposed to be getting choked out, but Kevin Owens is going in on a fan. And you got to pretend to hold your hand up, bro, so they don't see you getting choked out, but you're laughing. <laughs> Knowledge is Jarius J.J. Robertson. A Jarius J.J. Robertson is mostly known by wrestling fans for being the recipient of the WWE Warrior Award back in 2018. His induction speech was met with universal claim for being heartwarming, witty, and absolutely hysterical. Whenever JJ attends WWE events, it's common for him to interact with the wrestlers off camera, and during a dark match in 2022, Reigns made it his mission to make JJ's night. 
Reigns would be interacting with JJ as he was on the apron, and when Reigns pulled off a villainous move on one of the Viking Raiders, Reigns celebrated with him. <laughs> it showed just how classy and thoughtful Reigns really is. Number two, That's Reigns awesome, thanks man. the fans. Once Roman Reigns had defeated Drew McIntyre at a live event in Erie in April of 2022, Reigns decided rather randomly to break character off the match in a wholesome I saw manner. This clip too. Reigns would cut a promo thanking the fans for attending and asking them to not post footage of the character breaking online. And they did. Of course they did, because people are fucking idiots. <laughs> Well, not idiots, but people are, they're, they're assholes, man. You knew. As soon as you said, don't post it, they were going to post it, bro. Like, I I don't even know why you said it. You probably shouldn't have said it. They were going to post it. I, I wish fans would kind of keep, I get it, kayfabe is dead. It's kind of hard to keep it alive. But I would have appreciated it. If, if everyone that was there, then they just didn't post it. They just kept it to themselves. Like, oh, this was cool. But, you know. We're talking about people that are, they're gonna post the shit. You knew it was gonna happen. He would deny it was him. He would claim it was a hologram. <laughs> Ray stated, It's been one hell of a month. This is the first time I've been back in the ring since WrestleMania. With the turnout, with the energy that the crowd brought, you made it really easy for all of us doing this, all of us WWE superstars. I think it makes us very proud and privileged to have the opportunity to do what we do for the greatest fans in the world. So don't put this on social media because I'll deny it and I'll say it's a hologram. But on behalf of everybody in the back, I want to say thank you. Like I said, it's been one hell of a month, but in WWE, we don't have an off season. They don't. We just get right back into it. We just keep on going because the park never closes and I wouldn't have it any other way. Nope. I appreciate y'all. I want you to get home safe. We will see you next time. And number That's one, how it is. Sami Zayn yes, makes sir, this great. had to be the number Sami one. Sami Zayn joining the bloodline was a yeah. genius move on behalf of WWE as it helped enhance the characters of everyone in the group. Zayn has delivered some of his finest work as part of the stable. Facts. His work has been so comedic in nature that it even made Roman Reigns break out in character. During a promo segment between Logan Paul and the bloodline in October 2022, Zayn got on the mic and declared that you're the biggest two of them all, my dog. Logan instantly started to smirk, and then Reigns just processed what Zayn had said, and he had to look away from the camera as he simply couldn't contain the laughter. It was TV gold. But there you have it, folks. Ten times. And that ain't even the best one, bro. That's not even the best one. Obviously, the best one with uh, recently um, with the whole uh, Uzi thing. I think this is. I think this may have been filmed before that. Let me see. I'm not sure. Uh. I think I think it may have been filmed before that or a little bit after that. I don't know when they recorded this and had it ready to post. But uh, nah, man, the the whole Uzi thing, that shit was just great. Sami Zayn, once again, is a national treasure. He's one of the best things that's going on on television right now in WWE. And I cannot wait to the bloodline turn on him because when they turn on him, this will be the it, it is going to make him the biggest baby face in the company. He will be ridiculously over. And his comedic timing is perfect. He is the best thing that has happened for the bloodline. They have got they were getting a little stale, but his inclusion has made that whole group that much better. The fact that we can say Sami Zayn is is enhanced the whole faction is great to see man and it's cool to see these moments with roman reigns break character and 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 show his you know his more of his personal side bro that's why you know fans you know you know love to you know be in his presence and see his matches and want to interact with him because he's right now the top guy in the company doing the best work in his entire career so comment down below let me know what was your favorite roman reigns moment it, it can even be from the big dog era man let me know what's your favorite roman reigns moment of all time but i appreciate all the love and support bro to honey k appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace